Continue grooming it. Continue growing at it. Continue going to meetings like this. It's going to be very, very important for you. There are people waiting on you, and if you don't show up, they're going to struggle. Not you, because you're okay. God has blessed you. Let me say it to you this way. We sing the song, God Bless America. God is twisting that song a little bit. He said, I am blessing you to bless America. Yeah. Are y'all ready for that? Yeah. That's our Man. time. Come on now. Man. That's yeah. us. Because if we don't show up, they have a problem. Amen. That's on us. Amen. In every kingdom, the kingdom takes care of its people. Mm -hmm. Our country is no different. That's why you have situations called health care, welfare, all those issues. They have their laws. That's what they do. God takes care of us. Amen. That's why I said that based on what people are going through, if you don't show up, they have a problem. Because their problem is not able to be solved mm -hmm. unless you solve it. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Unless you solve it. Amen. See, when it comes to solving problems, notice how Jesus says it. I come to serve. I come to solve your problem. Mm -hmm. You're not here to solve mine. Can we get that mindset? Yes. Uh -huh. Come on now, can you feel that? <laughs> I'm here to solve your problem, mm -hmm. but you're not here to solve mine. Mm -hmm. That's the mindset. Mm -hmm. you got to capture that mindset. As a matter of fact, we're going to add this to the mindset. We're going to stop whining. Can we do that, believers? Yeah. Amen. Can we stop whining? Can we stop crying? Can we stop that? <laughs> Let me get you to go to Micah chapter 4 and verse 9. Let's go there right quick. I want us all to read this, all right? This is a mandate. Come on, let's roll. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Micah Lord. chapter 4 and verse 9. Are we there yet? I'm loaded. All right, here we go. Now, why are you whining? Do you see that? The word cry can go for whining, okay? We modernize it. And notice what's next. Why are you doing this aloud? Why are you making so much noise? Why are you shouting in your whining? Is there no king in you? Do you see that? Is there no word in you? Can we go there? Greater is the word that is in you than the confusion that is in the world. Can we understand that? Can we receive that? Amen. So we are rebuking the spirit of whining right now in Jesus' name. Receive that. Hallelujah. Amen. It is Thank not there anymore. Come on, we're warriors. Thank you, Lord. So we're going straight ahead to handle this. Amen. That whining is behind us and it is out of here. Amen. All right? Because we got places to go. People to see, things to do. That is happening now. This is our hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. We're the generation. Thank you. We're not talking about somebody else. This is us. Let's take hold of it. This is what we're doing. Because look, in taking hold of it, you're going to see results. Faith without results is what? Dead. It's dead. Man. We need to have results. It's also a counterfeit. We're not counterfeit. So when we show up, we're in expectation just as we were today. This is going to be with you. You have nothing to lose. Speak what is in you. Even if the fear is there, never let it be shown. Because sometimes you're going to be a little bit afraid to do God's will. But if he deposited in you, let it come out of your mouth. Sometimes our mind wants to fight with what's in us. As men, it's hard for us to be submissive to another man. I'm speaking to King. It's hard, all right? So we have to learn how to become submissive. See, the Lord says, I have taught you how to love your wife. Come on, fellas. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes, that's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yep. Yep. You taught me how to love her. We're bad. Yep. But I got a question for you. Now, I taught you how to love her. And by me teaching you how to love her, she's become submissive to you. She's become submissive to you. That's another good one, huh, fellas? Yep, yep, that's right, Lord, yep. I receive, yep. 
But here's the question. What's your problem with me? That's a good place to say ouch, isn't it? What's your problem with me? So we got to stop and think about that. Well, Lord, that's a good question. What is my problem with you? You're loving me, and I'm loving my wife. My wife is being submissive to me, but I have a challenge in being submissive to you. Hmm. Well, what is it that I'm doing that I'm not being submissive? Because we can get the word submissive looking Webster to see what it is, but let's get the Lord to give us that definition. What are you saying that I'm not doing? When I put my word in you, release it. If you hold it, you're not being submissive. That's the hour. When the word comes out of your mouth, watch it go to work. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Mm -hmm. This is that time. Hallelujah. Amen. That's for all of us. Come on. Amen. That's for every last one of us. As it comes out of your mouth, be ready. This is it. I want to talk about, and I also want to give honor to Pastor Ira. Thank you for being who you are. It is so amazing in your ministry, in your books. I tell you, a lot of your books that I have gotten, as I started reading them, it was very difficult for me at first. But see, now I can read them. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's been downloaded in me. <laughs> yes. Sometimes it's going to take time. You're going to have to take those books as you see, put them in your library. You may not catch it at first, but you will. And God will tell you in a vision, get this book over here. What you need in it is in this particular chapter. You may not have to read the whole book, but it needs to be in your library. Amen. Be prepared. Get it there. The Lord has much for you. Amen. Because there's a lot of things that he's done that God has given him the anointing for that has been deposited into you for you to do, but you're not ready for it yet. So the petition is what we do. Mm -hmm. So we're petition, petitioning for us to be prepared to receive what God is going to do. So sometimes it's not going to always be now. Mm -hmm. We want it now. Mm -hmm. That's the way we're made. We want more, more, more. We want it all. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we're not ready to receive it. So if we're not ready, continue petitioning. Mm -hmm. And once it's there, even though we're putting it in the memory to God for Him to remember, actually we're reasoning with Him as Ira spoke on last night. We're reasoning with Him. If you're going to reason with anybody, it's better best to reason with God than someone on the streets. Mm -hmm. So we're going to reason with God. We're going to bring all the confusion to him. Let's bring it to him. We got nothing to lose. Let's Amen. try it anyway. We're going to reason with him. If someone is ill, we're going to reason with God to get the understanding of what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share with you all some of the strategies. We're talking about healing evangelism. This is a end time ministry and I believe that we all have the ability to operate in it. I'm going to share some strategies on how to deal with that and how I do it. The Lord sends me all types of people, Buddhists, Muslims, all kinds of folks. And they are alert to Jesus. They are so ready. Even the atheists, they are ready. But there are strategies that the Lord is giving us now. I'm going to share that with you. So you take the strategies with the faith. And some of these strategies, you're going to reinvent yourself. The Lord is going to give you more. He wants us to be alerted to the devices of the enemy. Amen. Those devices that we are alerted to is going to give you so much strength because you know what to do. Never again and going forward will we not know what to do. Thank you. That's the hour that we're in. Mm -hmm. When it comes to this area of health care, to show you how bad the world is. And to show you how easy healing evangelism is to be. Sometimes it's going to be a flip of the coin. And you're going to win one way or the other. But God could also stack the deck for you where it's 100% for you. And what I mean by that, people that have back issues, 50% of the Americans have back issues. I'm not speaking about the rest of the world. But you can ask anybody on the street, by any chance, do you have back pain? And then you can say, are knee issues? 50%. And when they say, yes, they do, they're going to be shocked that you know this.